San Marino stands as one of the world's smallest and oldest sovereign states, completely encircled by Italy. It lies amidst the northeastern side of the Apennine Mountains, boasting a rugged landscape that is home to the capital city of San Marino, also known as the City of San Marino, perched atop Mount Titano. This enclave covers just over 61 square kilometers, with a modest population that does not significantly exceed 33,000 residents. Established in 301 AD by a Christian stonemason named Marinus, who fled Roman persecution, San Marino prides itself on a long history of independence and autonomy. Its constitution, enacted in 1600, is among the oldest in the world that is still in effect, underpinning the nation's governance through a unique parliamentary system. Economically, San Marino is not part of the European Union, but uses the euro as its currency through an agreement with Italy. Its economy historically relied on agriculture and stone quarrying. However, today it is bolstered by finance, commerce, services and tourism, with the latter being significantly fueled by its historical sites, museums and the picturesque beauty of its medieval settings. The three towers of San Marino, located on the peaks of Mount Titano, along with the historic centre of San Marino, have been designated as UNESCO World Heritage Sites, attracting visitors from across the globe. Despite its size, San Marino maintains a distinct cultural identity, with traditions that have persisted over centuries. It has its own postage stamps, a highly valued collector's item, and fields its own Olympic team. San Marino's commitment to maintaining its sovereignty and cultural heritage, alongside its progressive governance and vibrant economy, makes it a unique entity on the global stage. <laughs>